That's right, it's Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time to sit back, have a cup of coffee, and let's go over the hottest selling reserve list cards this week. Don't go away. Now, as a guy who spends his Saturdays, Sundays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, talking about magic, you think I would have graduated Magic University by now. Nothing. Professor hasn't graduated me, man. I'm trying to get back in next semester. That is a hard nut to crack. I'm going to get the grades up, though. We're going to get there. Welcome back, everyone. MTG Moxman here. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy the content. Smash that subscribe button. I did with less enthusiasm because I didn't want to spill my coffee. Um, and we're here to talk about the reserve list today. The hottest selling reserve list cards this week. Kind of The reserve list is fickle. Let me tell you, she is fickle. She moves from the left to the right. He goes up, he goes down. You don't know what card's going to be the favorite. A card that was like doing fairly well the week before gets knocked off. But with all this dark hype and buyouts going on, it's an interesting time. It really is. So let's go ahead, sit back and chill, and let's take a look at the hottest selling cards this week. Stay tuned, man. We're, we're going to go right now. Coming in at number 10 this week is a new entry, the Knights of Thorn from the Dark. 26 sales from January 15th to the 21st of 2022. Average price is $16.57. The market is $14.64. And it's €14.29 to get you that card. Locally, he is $24 Canadian for a near mint copy. Now, I used to use this guy all the time. My banding deck had four of these because he had protection from red. And he had banding, which made him not bolt bait. No ball lightning barreling through on me. No goblin grenade coming to get me. He stood tall and he stood strong. Way to go, Knights of Thorn. I think I still have my four heavily played copies somewhere in my piles. I think it's still my banding deck somewhere. I gotta take a look. I gotta show you guys that deck sometime. My banding army. It was such a good deck back in the day. Put some crusades in there. Have a good time. A little balance action when things are going bad. Love that deck. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at number nine this week. And that is going to be Lurker from the Dark, a card I did not expect to see on the list coming in at number nine. 29 sales, January 15th to the 21st of 2022. It just shows you a lot of cards in the dark are on the move. This is something people need to pay attention to. If you are interested in completing a set, getting a play set of something, or just some individual single cards you want, the fact that I'm seeing all kinds of new cards coming on, crazy. This top 10 list is jumping this week. The average price is $11.65 US. The market is $9.20 US. And it's $13.72, sorry, €13.72 to get you that card. And you can see at one point, it was well above 20 bucks, and it tanked right out. And I guess people are taking advantage of the lurker in the dark, right? And he's green. It looks so cool. The, the artwork is good. I like it. He's, he's, he, and look, it says summon lurker. It's very creepy. Now, we're going ahead and taking a look at number eight this week. And that is going to be Ashnod Silex again. It's on the list. It's from Alliances. 31 sales, January 15th to the 21st of 2022. Again, it had that big spike up and then dropped off hard. The average price is $2.71 US. The market comes in at $2.16 US. And then it's €2.43 to get to that card. It, it's not a bad card. It can be used as an offense or defensive weapon, letting, letting you know what you want to do, flipping cards and getting a card. It's not a bad thing to do depending on what's going on in your deck. You may want it to work that certain way. And people still like the card because they're still buying it. And it's really cheap. I mean, people who say they can't afford the reserve list are obviously not looking at all the cards on the reserve list. There's 572 choices, people. You don't just have to look at the top 50. There's a lot of cards to pick from that are a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and take a look at number seven this week. Kajoran Outpost from Alliances with a surprising 33 sales from January 15th to the 21st of 2022. I mean, I used to use this card all the time in my banding deck. I have one in my commander deck, but I used to use it in banding deck because if I didn't have an answer, if somebody board wiped everything, at least I could pump out a few tokens and keep myself alive, throw some cannon fodder out there when somebody was rolling along with some big beastie to hope I could draw the next card to get me through. What was it? Blessing I used to use? Where you like gain a life and draw a card. I think it was like the guy sipping wine or something. That's the card I used to use to keep me alive. With this thing pumping out the minis to get me going. Now the average price is only $18.46 US. The market comes in at $16.02 US. And it's €13.60 to get you that card. Locally it's about $25 Canadian for a near mint copy if you can find one. Okay. 
but this thing has been tanking in price for quite a long time now and it looks like it's starting to bottom out people are noticing it's at a lower level and they're deciding to take advantage of the sales right this is like a this is like a fire sale for this card and somebody's going to take advantage of it and add more copies to their position and gain a higher control stake over that card very interesting stuff way to go kajorn outpost you're hanging in there at number seven i i mean um, it's awesome now number six City of Shadows, one of the bio cards of this channel that you know I buy at least one a month. Now this card at number six with 38 sales is interesting. It's part of the dark bio, obviously, but 38 sales at an average of 100 bucks means people over that week spent $4,000 US this week at minimum to buy this card. It's probably higher because some near mint copies and stuff sold, right? Now the average price is 100 bucks. That really hasn't changed, but that market is kind of ecking up. It's kind of just moving and ratcheting up slowly at $141.98 US, and it's finally moved for the euro, which used to be like 110. It's now 111, sorry, 111 euros and 98 cents to get you that card. Um, I've always enjoyed it. I never really used it like I use it now with the decks and the tokens and things nowadays. I use this thing to pump up a massive amount of mana to use it as some kind of closing effect on an opponent later on. And I use things that can let me untap that land and double and triple and quadruple the effect, right? It's like a Telerian Academy without my Telerian Academy, but I make it work. Blow up the tokens, get things pumped in there. It's an awesome card and it is the dark. It is one of the rare cards that is going to have value and it's just gonna to continue to climb in value. I told you I'm not stopping buying until it hits $250 Canadian. So I'm just gonna keep buying my one a month and my one a month and just slowly plod along. That's right, I can't speak, it's Sunday. You guys know what it's like. I'm surprised I haven't banged the microphone yet. So hey, enough of this. Let's get down there and see what surprises come in to our top five cards. What card is coming in at number five this week, you say? Boomstick! What do you know? It's Mana Vortex from the dark. What a surprise, didn't see this one coming either. Uh, 50 sales from January 15th to the 21st of 2022. The average price is $50 US. The market price is $45.02 US and it's 48 euro and 29 cents to get you that card. Now, locally, this card is $60 Canadian for a near mint copy if you can find one. There was only two in stock when I looked. Um, blowing up land messes with people's minds. You put this with like a, a red blue deck, you start you start totaling some land, get their land down low, and then you play this out where it just effectively blows a land every turn for each of you until there's nothing left. Um, it can really mess with people's minds, okay? And then there's ways of bouncing this card with a time elemental so you don't lose your own land. It's just disgusting. So it's a card to keep in mind. It's gonna get more respect. Uh, I've been calling this card out since it was like 12 bucks. Uh, maybe before that, you have to go back to my old videos and see what I was saying about this card back then. And I know Rudy at Elf Investments gave this card a plug in too. Respect. Good stuff, man. I mean, Mana Vortex is going to be one of those cards people are going to keep an eye on for a very long time. Let's go ahead and take a look at number four this week. Number four is Nameless Race. This card is not done. 51 sales. Beat it. Beat out Mana Vortex by one. And another thing is, I mean, honorable mention this week would go to like Preacher. Preacher had a lot of sales, but he didn't make it on the list. He was just a little bit shy of bumping off the number 10. So, Nameless Race from the Dark, number 4, 51 sales from the 15th to the 21st of January 2022. Uh, average price is $10.97. The market is $10.58 US, and it's €11.46 to get you that card. It's $20 Canadian here. If you, there's a couple copies, they're $20 Canadian. Canadian. And the funny thing is they're not near mint. It's like slight played. So keep an eye on that. If you're looking for it, a TCG player might be a better place to go. And don't forget, if you're going to buy anything on TCG, go ahead and use the link in my description below. And I get a kickback of like 3%, which helps get stuff for the channel. So it's awesome. Let's go ahead now. Let's jump over to check out number three. Number three this week is another surprising entry. 53 sales. It is dominating. Illicit? Lycid? Lycid? Lysid, whatever it is, from Exodus. 53 sales, January 15th to the 21st of 2022. I like this guy. I've mentioned him a few times before. Look at the price though. Average price is $6.96 US. The market is $4.32 US and it's four euro and 63 cents to get you that card. Are you telling me that somebody can't afford reserve list cards? I'm really getting tired of that argument for those who email me, by the way. Reserve list cards are very affordable. They're less than a lot of the cards that are in standard format right now. Go looking, have a great day, enjoy the fun you get from finding a good deal on the reserve list, and look at this card just tanked from like 30 bucks 
all the way down to like, it's lost like 80% of its value. How can somebody say that's not a good deal? And somebody did notice because a couple of people bought multiple copies. So way to go, good card. I didn't see this one coming. I had to go looking and this is what I found. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Number two is Exorcist. He's back in action again for a second week. I had a few people tell me, hey, I like that artwork. I like what this card does, Mox, man. We got some powerhouse in the dark this week. 67 sales from the 15th to the 21st of January, 2022. You can see that price is really upticking. If you look at the very end of the, of the screen here, you'll see that sharp uptick as this thing is rebounding. $36 is the average US. The market is $29.11 US. It's 21 euro 95 cents to get that card. And this card locally is $35 Canadian for a slight played copy if you wanted to get one locally, okay? Uh, great card, can't say enough about it. I can see why people like it. Um, I do have one in my commander deck. My commander angel deck thing, I did put one in, so I was curious. And I have a preacher in there too, which I was just checking the deck out the other day to get ready maybe to play a match. And I was like, oh, I have some surprises for people. Let's go ahead and take a look at the number one card this week. You'll be a little surprised, but maybe not as surprised as some people. It is still Frankenstein's monster. That's right, from the dark. This guy is number one with 73 sales still. Look at last week, look at now. That's 200 and something plus sales in a 10 day to 14 day period. 73 sales from January 15th to the 21st of 2022. Look at that average, 84.93 is the average, but the market is 32 dollars and 19 cents us that's not bad okay the, the market much more reasonable if you're looking for a moderate play to heavily play just something to use way to go if you're looking for near mint you are going to pay a pretty penny by the way 24 euro and six cents to get you that card you can see look at that spike and then it drops and he's spiking up again you can just look at the chart and look at him going up i mean wow respect to whoever's buying this card because I'm, I'm loving watching what's happening with it i do not own this card i'll be honest I got to play the statement out there. I don't have any of this. Uh, I thought I got one way back in the day, but I guess I didn't keep it around because I don't have any. I looked around my binder. I got nothing. So maybe I'll have to pick one up. Maybe I'll have to get at least one for the channel to say I've got one. So that's what we've got for our top 10. These are the hottest selling reserve list cards this week that I could find. And I'm very curious to know what people think when they see this stuff. So put your comments in the comment section. Join in the conversation. We're a chatty place here on the channel. Give this video a thumbs up, pass it to some friends. Let's, let's get these views going. And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, join in the fun. I had a blast talking to you guys today. I hope you have a great Sunday. I look forward to seeing you guys in the live stream at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. We are gonna have a blast. I'll see you then. And of course, a big shout out to each and every one of my fantastic patrons on the channel. These are the people who stick by me through thick and thin, help me get through my days and make me think I gotta have some nachos and cheese. I gotta enjoy myself. We've gotta enjoy magic. Bring a friend to magic. Patrons make the world go round. Don't worry. I didn't forget about you guys. You're at the end of the video. You made it this far. You went the whole 13 minutes in this video. You said, wow, that was a long one, man. It was challenging to sit through that, but don't worry because I got you covered. We got an underdark basilisk because you know, one that D&D kick. I like this stuff. I like it. Not a reserve list, but still a fun card to check out. Good artwork in that set. I gotta be honest. Love the flavor still. So I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. I know I am. It was great having this little chat with you guys today about the reserve list cards. And I can't wait to see what people say. And I'll see you guys in the live stream. Have yourselves an awesome day because you deserve it. You do. Don't, don't doubt yourself. Get a donut. Get a coffee. Where's my coffee? I still have a coffee. Sunday, still got a coffee. Have a great one.